Hi everybody, Kurt Quinnell back on Lake of the Woods with the, my uh, third video of this new season. So far fishing's been great, but the last few days now we're heading into that, I call the 4th of July doldrums. The fish are moving from from where they were, where they've been since the opener. We could target them, go there every day and, and get them pretty good unless the weather was playing us some evil trick. But uh, now things have started to change. I'm heading across the lake to some of my favorite spots and I watched the depth finder and as I was going across I started seeing fish right out here in places where I've where I've caught them before in the summertime. So I, I uh, stopped and as I stopped, heck I had three or four fish at a time on the depth finder. So I said well we're gonna stop we're gonna hit this for just 20 minutes is all I'll need to know if they're in here or not and they're both well, I know they're here but uh, I'll find out if they're biting or not. So this is an awfully good thing to uh, get a hold of right now. I mentioned the 4th of July doldrums there. Fish are leaving where they were and they're heading to where they're gonna go and on any given day they could be a lot of different places. So you head out for, you keep your fingers crossed, go to the next spots. Well first of all I go to where they were. Not there anymore. All right. Then you start trying to figure out where. And you might hit it right away or you might not hit it right away. And that's, we'll call that the guide's dilemma around the 4th of July. We're a week or so early, a couple of weeks early actually, uh, for when this normally happens, but the season started early. So that's a, a probably a pretty good indication. So I thought, sure, I'd stop in here and drop down and catch one right away. We're gonna give it, like I said, 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll uh, head out for the original plan A. And I've uh, been sitting here about 10 minutes. No bite yet. Now normally in a spot that I had some confidence in, I would sit here for well an hour and a half probably before I'd leave. But uh, this is a spot where there's going to be fish later on in, in July and August. This is a pretty good spot and there's fish in here now. But uh, in 10 minutes there's nothing. So I'm going to give it about 10 minutes more. Then I'm going to go about my way. This is a, uh, a search day. I'm going to try not to stay anywhere too long. But uh, you know, 20 minutes is a bare minimum. And it should actually be longer. It takes, when I've got one line here, one line in the water in this great big lake. That always kind of blows my mind. It's funny how two would make a big difference. Or three, even better. But uh, one little jig down there with one little dead frozen shiner minnow on it in this big lake. And I'm going to try to coax a fish to come over and bite. It's crazy, but it works. All right, this is this is why I'm sitting in this spot here. See that? It's a big fish right there. This is a this is a zoomed version of this. This is what's in this little box here. So there's this is that same fish, but this is I've had heck three or four of these come by, and they're not necessarily a small fish either. That could be anything. So I've had them here, but they just haven't bit yet. Got a fish here, but I don't think I can catch it. Pretty little. I've had two bites just in the last couple of seconds. I just lost another minnow. Yep. So, and I've been here probably 15 minutes of my 20 that I was going to spend here. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes. If it takes more than 20 today, they're safe. But, uh, yeah, no bites, and then suddenly two. Neither fish were. Uh, anything but this. This is the ex big expanse of mud out here on Lake of the Woods. It's mud as far as you can see in all directions. And it's a, it's a fish magnet actually year round, but in the middle of the summer and in the middle of the winter is when it seems to really shine. I'm a little past my 20 minutes. I'm happy that there's fish out here, real happy. This is a good omen for, for what's to come. But it's uh, evident, and you know, one more thing here, if you're out fishing at 7.30 in the morning on Lake of the Woods, you really can't figure that's what the bite's going to be at 9 o'clock in the morning when the bite starts on Lake of the Woods. But that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for fish that are going to be biting, and they're here, they're just not uh, going yet. If I was smart, I'd stay here for another 20 minutes, but no one ever claimed I was smart. Spot number two. 
I uh, didn't go to where I was going to go. I thought that maybe I'd start shallower, 24 feet here. And right next to some rocks. Uh, there may be a rock or two in here somewhere. There's a lot of uh, fish flies in the water, but not like in a, an enormous amount. So after I was out deep and the fish were there but not biting, I thought I'd try this shallower at first. Now, I didn't see uh, fish on the depth finder. Or any reason to stop in here, but this is a spot that I've fished before. And as early as I'm here, heck, there's other boats kind of off in the distance already. I'm going to give this 20 minutes. So what time is it? It's 8.32. 10 to 9, I'm going to move out deep. I might move around a lot today. Like, this isn't a great fish catching day as far as I just need to have some new spots where these fish are going to go. All right, sorry about the sun there, but been in my second spot for 10 minutes. And in just a couple of minutes, I caught one fish and it was big. And here's my second fish and it's big. Not 28 inch big, but pretty big. There it came off. See? Nice fish. Sorry about the sun. Let's just see how big it is. Nice 22 incher. Alright buddy, take off. I uh, had a bite, lost my minnow, baited up, and went down there and the fish was still there and bit immediately. You'd be surprised how often that happens. Now that fish, all right, on the floor of my boat now, here but see, fish fly, fish fly. Those weren't there before I caught that fish, so whatever you've heard about fish eating those or not eating those, they do. All right, but he still wanted that frozen shiner minnow. Getting kind of warm. Take off my jacket. been watching the videos this summer and I'm all about sun management. Wear long sleeve shirts. Thank goodness they've got material now that can handle that you know in the heat. And I have now added gloves. Alright. Long sleeves. The gator thing over my cheeks. Got to put some suntan lotion on my nose right here, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I'm covered. And long pants, which handles the fish fly, the uh, biting fly situation in your boat pretty darn well. I'm going to leave this spot in a minute, but I'm going to show you on the map what I've, what I've been fishing here. I caught two. I've been here for a half an hour, and I caught two, and uh, they're both nice. They're both 22, 23 inches long right here. Here's the, the island, all right? And off of this, there's a shoals that come out. This is rock, a rock bar all the way out here, all right? And I've fished here a couple of places before, but I'm right there, right off to the side. Uh, it's 20, what, 24 feet deep here. And, uh, and anywhere along in here, there's a few boats right over here, but I'm on this side of the shoals pretty much by myself. So I don't know if everyone's catching a lot or catching a couple, but I've caught a couple and I've seen what I need to see in here. Made a detour on my way to spot number three. I'm fishing in 7.7 uh, .7 feet of water right now. And I've got my uh, secret weapon on. I'll show it here in a little bit if it works. I'll show it to you anyway, but uh, something I've never used before, seriously. And uh, I'm just going to motor along here at about almost one mile an hour. Keeping that bait right on the bottom. I'm hoping it's sand. It must be sand in here. I'm way up on the north end of the lake, right around the corner from the northwest angle. It's a place uh, called Crowduck. Crowduck, I think, is further on the lake a little bit. I'm inside of that. I'm just off the shore here. Up uh, towards, I'm going to call it American Point. Okay, well, we're fishing. I'm uh, 9.30. See what happens in your morning?
caught those two fish in the in the second spot. Never went to the third spot. This is my substitute third spot. I'm going to try this for a half an hour or so then. I'm going to keep on moving. Okay, I can't help it. I'm going to show you this. I can't catch a fish without the line in the water. But I'm sure this is a spinner bite in here, but what I have is called an Erie Deary. It's a big jig head with a spinner blade below that and a crawler harness underneath. I've got uh, just a leech on there now. In fact, I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put two leeches on this. That'll make it more irresistible. But you pull this just like you would a spinner. Here's a fish. I'm oh, just going to switch over. Well, I think I will anyway. Oh, there goes one of my leeches. I was just going to take this eerie deary thing off. I'm not going. This is a nice little walleye. Be a keeper most days. Okay, now we're doing spot spot four now. I think this spot we fished for a couple of weeks really hard couple of weeks ago. I'm uh, 20 miles away I suppose from home base here maybe a little better but it's uh, see it's 10 o'clock now the day's going by I eliminated that shallow spot I caught one pulling a spinner in eight feet of water that's not me but I did it so we're just gonna let this cook for a while here and see what we can get going show you this that spot I just turned into is 25 feet deep here, right off another one of those splines that come off. But look at all the bait here. That's bait fish, that's bait fish. Now this again is what's in this little box here, so this is a better look at it. So I've been here a couple of minutes. I haven't got a bite yet, but I can't imagine. Now unless those might be those fish flies hatching. But I don't see uh, anything on the surface at all. So I don't think so. I think it's bait. You got that much bait in here, there should be some fish around. Time this fish has bit me here. There we go. Oop. And he came off right there. See, that's a third minnow on that same fish. As soon as I bait up and get down, he bites again. I like it when that happens because you get another chance, but why do they keep getting off? That was a uh, fairly decent fish. Now I've been here 25 minutes maybe. I'm going to give this a little longer because I have confidence in this spot. But have that same fish coming, coming, coming. There he is again, right away. <laughs> okay, now this one isn't a big fish, but it... Oop, and he got off too. You know, this happened the other day. When I had customers out, which was sad, but they were getting fish steady, and they were getting off steady. Halfway up, let go. So I guess we had a lot of fish. Now I'm pretty confident this isn't the same fish every time, and he went right back to the bottom. He's still there. My shiner minnow that I had on that he bit off just floated to the top. How about that? Yeah, the minnow's right there, and I just saw it come up to the top. Come on back and bite again. Four times. There we go. Stay on now, buddy. Now that one came up off the bottom and bit me. Oh, this is a good walleye. Ah. This is what we were in here for two weeks ago. Very nice keeper sized walleyes. I'll measure this guy. I'm not keeping any today. It's a 15 inch walleye. The fishing guide's dream. Well, so again, if you pull in here at 7.30 in the morning and fish it for a half hour and leave at 9 or 8 and the fish start biting here at 10, see that's that's the thing you got to think about. My bait 
got back to the bottom and fish started bite me. But once they move in, they do not quit. Nice fat little chunky sauger. I just just took a pee. Oh no! He came off. He's going back to the bottom. That was a big, that was a nice big fish. Well, he'll still be there if I can get, I can get back there. Knock on it. Got another one coming up off the bottom biting me. What do you say? It wasn't very big. This is big. Now do not get off. Come on. Ooh. Running out big drag. Uh -huh. Look at him go. Well, this is not that huge, but it's a very nice fish. Uh -huh. another 22 23 look on his back can you see those he's got bite marks old old bite marks in his back good deal all right here we are in the fifth spot I'll get baited up I sit in that fourth spot for, heck, an hour and a half. It was good in there. And now this is the A spot. This is the spot that has just gone dry in the last few days. I get here, there's a lot of boats spread out around here, but there's nobody very close to me. So far, the furthest spot away I was is the best one, of course. This one's about halfway home, and hopefully it'll get better. They come, coming up and biting on me. Come on. There, I got him. Boy, no way I thought I had a chance on that. Oops. Okay, hey, hold still, buddy. I'll put you back. From one bite to the next, you don't know what it's going to be. It could be anything. It could be a little sauger. It could be a nice 17, 18 inch wall, or it could be a 28 inch wall. And that's seriously every day, every bite. Well, that one chased me really good there. Ah, boy, that's fun. That's it's fun. I'm catching so many, but they're all saugers about this size. This is one, two, three, four. This is my fifth spot. I'm going to try this for about ten more minutes, and then uh, then I'm going to go back to that first spot. On the way, I didn't stay there very long, and I had a couple of bites just out in the middle, out in the middle in the deep mud. A lot of fish there this morning, and then after that, I'll just uh, I'll call it a wrap. This is this is what uh, I don't know if all guides do it. This is what I do on my days off. I've got to go out and find some new spots to replace these. But so far, my best two spots have been the two spots that I started off with. Well, here comes another one. Thought it was a little bigger. It is a little bigger sauger. This is a 14 inches, this be a keeper most days. All right. Okay, here we go again. <laughs> I 
Well, right in that deep spot, this is my second sauger. I'm sure that's what it's going to be. So those fish that we saw on the bottom on the way out, probably sauger. Like I said, they could be. Not to say there couldn't be a, a whopper big northern or a big walleye in there. Or a northern. But uh, I haven't got a lot of bait left. And I kind of understand what's going on now. So the guide's day off. And the 30 extra miles I put on just checking everything out. At least it makes me feel better about what I had to begin with. I haven't found any place better than my, than my good spots that I had coming in. And they're still pretty good. Since the season started, I haven't had many days when it was easy or fast. They come, you know, but uh, heck, you're out to fish for the day anyway. Either my two good spots, I'm sure we could sit there and catch all or most of what we need for, well, a couple of weeks to come. At least that's what I think I'm going to be banking on. So unless I hear about something else, then we'll go look at that. But uh, with the help of uh, Brian Holmer, who fished a few spots for me this morning, and Mark Engie, he went out and fished a couple of other spots. And uh, so actually I got input from seven or eight spots today, and that was good. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up and, and uh, call it a week. And a quick vacation break here to take care of some family business. And then next week we'll be back at it, hitting it hard again. So from Lake of the Woods, hey, I'm Kurt Quinnell. Thanks for coming along with me today. Hope you found at least part of it interesting, all right? And I'll see you soon out here on North the North Country Outdoors Radio.